So, welcome and welcome back to Pond's Tinkering Garage. And today I'm gonna introduce Project Toby and announce that it's officially live. It's the sixth project of mine, but it has been a pet project of mine since day one. It's the accumulation of things that I have learned from modeling, rigging, and cloth simulation. It's an ongoing and growing project, and thus I have created a Patreon page to keep all the updates. So uh, this is my brand new uh, Patreon page. It's Bonds Green Garage. And yeah, so uh, what is Project Toby? Well, first, Toby stands for Try Out Buddy. It's a rig, a realistic rig, as you can see here. Uh, Yep, so there you go. And built from a real model. But it's more than that. It's also a friend, or at least it has been a friend of mine uh, as long for as long as I have known rigging. It's a friend in a sense that it works, which is like the most important bit in 3D. And in doing so, it has helped me a lot. And I hope it will help you as much as it has helped me. So, uh, okay, it's a rig, right? Uh, so what's, I mean, like, what's so unique about it? I mean, like, what's wrong with uh, all other rigs or something like Rigify rigs, right? So, so yeah, I mean, like, I have tried a few generated or template rigs so far, Rigify and AutoRig Pro. Right, so are they great? Yeah, they are great. Uh, can you generate it yourself easily? Yeah, you can generate it pretty easily. But there is one problem though, and it's overwhelmingly and dauntingly wrong. I might be in minority here, but I know how human body moves. And those generated rigs, cannot possibly allow me to move the body as it's supposed to. It might be okay for stylized or cartoon characters, but it's not very acceptable for realistic ones. So the second problem is these generated rigs are aimed more towards people who want to make rigs and not the final users. For you riggers out there, sure, you can learn how to set up properly. You can learn how to move all the bones around as well. But for final users out there, very much like me, the problem, the one problem remains. We don't want to do that. This actually comes from my experience and I, and I guess it has to do with the fact that Blender is actually expanding quite fast that people who use the rigs are normal day-to-day -day people. They're not artists or animators per se, no. They're just a normal people, mostly needing the rigs for commercial purposes. They need the rigs to show up their products or services, watches, makeups, uh, cars, phones, clothing, explainer or demonstration videos, and that's it. And for these commercial purposes, most of the time, it's a still render. At most, it's a few seconds animation with some sort of idle animation with one major pose, and then it moves just a little bit. So, so yeah, we have a character, a 3D model, and we want to move it around just a little bit. But we don't want to move it around so much like we're making a feature length movie with it. And because of it, we don't really bother spending or investing a lot of time and resources to learn about posing or animation. And, and actually that's exactly the thing that I found weird about 3D models and rigs in 3D space, uh, Blender included. In the real world, when you hire a model to pose for your products, uh, you just have to give instruction to the model 
and they will process those instructions and pose accordingly. You don't have to move the model's arm or head manually. You, they just do it. Uh, that's exactly a model's job. But, but that's not like that in 3D. When we get a, f a 3D fully rigged model, what we get basically is a dead model or a doll. We, we still have to move it around ourselves. And, and yeah, but the problem is we're not models. Uh, we don't know how to post this or that. We are clueless about it. Some of you may try to do it, come up with a pose in your head, or you may see a reference on Pinterest. Uh, then you try to pose it and it goes fine. You tweak it and you tweak it and it looks okay, but it's not quite there yet. You wonder what's wrong, but cannot point out which part. And of course, finally, you give up. <laughs> and this is exactly where Project Toby will help you. Toby is more than a rig. It's a real digital model. With Toby, you don't just get a dead model that you have to move yourself. You get a live digital model. And let me show you that. So uh, behind these uh, piece of clothing, the tunic, uh, if we turn this off, you can you get to see that uh, we have got real stuff uh, going on. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is a very realistic uh, model, right? So, uh, so yeah, it comes with a growing set of pre-built poses uh, like these. And these poses uh, actually are of a real model, right? So we can just give it a try. And this is how it looks like, right? So we can try all the poses that I've created earlier. And, and yeah, so you can, this is a fine pose. Uh, this is a Toby Love pose uh, and all other uh, poses you can see. And, and yeah, these poses are, these poses look dynamic and beautiful and you can use them for all sorts of things, right? So, and my favorite is to pose it for a clothing because uh, in case you didn't know, I make digital clothes like these, uh, a shirt and a skirt, which looks uh, fabulous, right? So for now, you can get the Toby rig for free and the download link is on the description, right? So now you will notice that I am using an add-on for this, right? I'm using JSON Post Manager or JPM add-on. JPM allows me to share poses with you without sharing the blend file. And it is the thing that enables me to offer the poses to you without the restraints of a blend file. You can literally download these JSON uh, files here and you can load it to JPM and set to post, set the rig to post instantly, very much like these, right? So, so yeah, you can get JPM add on both on my Blender market uh, right here, or you can get it rightly on my newly created Patreon page, which is right here, right? So, for the poses, I will drop some of them for free on my Patreon page and so that you can still use and try some if, if you like the idea, the rig, the poses and the better and efficient way to pose our rigs, uh, become a member and have access to every single post, a library of them uh, that I have created and will create in the future. So now it's all great and fun, but let's go back to this Toby rig, right? So let's uh, go here and let's put it into the rest uh, post and probably let's hide the set. And okay, now, sure, we can load the poses and set it automatically, just like what we demonstrated earlier, but there will come a time when we need to tweak it or we simply just need 
to move it manually, right? For that reason, let's take a look at how to use our Toby rig. First, you have to be familiar with these things, right? These, uh, this is the bone layers. Uh, you will see that there are eight columns and two rows. In total, 16 bone layers represented by these tiny dots, right? For the most part, the top row is for the rig's left side, and the right as, and the bottom row is for the rig's right side. Seen from our normal perspective, which is from the front view, it's gonna look like the other way around. We can skip the first, the second, the third uh, column for now because they're mostly technical. The fourth column is for the I, the, for the FK control. As you can see, uh, this is a good IK, and yeah, it is for the arm, for the fingers, uh, for the spine, and for the neck as for the neck as well, right? The jaw, and, and yeah, there you go. The fifth column is for the IK. Uh, as you can see, you can just do it normal IK thing, and it also comes in with uh, a raw system, which is cool, right? And the sixth, this is uh, the parents, the parent control. Uh, I'm gonna explain it later. And the seven, the top row is for the facial uh, controls, which is nice. You can do a lot of a uh, thing with the face. And the bottom row, uh, it is for the the toes and the feet parenting thing. And the eighth uh, column is for the twist. This is an important thing, which we, we were going to talk about uh, in, on, in the future, right? And, and yeah, that's it. Now, there is one more bone layer that you might need to know, and it has to do with correctional shape keys and that is in the first column the bottom row right here uh this is still a growing thing because i have just figured the big shape keys and it will definitely be added in the future right now uh i have for the arms this is for the clavicle and this is for the scapula this is for the leg this is for the shin and this is for the belly and this is for the for another belly. This is the side belly, and this is for the front belly. And yeah, that's it for now. And for now, as you might have noticed, the rig is set to have the arms in FK and the legs in IK. Because well, that's the most natural option. We mostly have our feet on the ground, so we need IK system while our arm is free-flowing, so we need FK system. How to switch it up? Well, that's exactly gonna be the topic for the next video. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it for now, and I'll see you later.